Hi guys, this is Sam with Practically Posh Life and today's video is going to be what I got my daughter for her seventh birthday. So welcome, if you are new, welcome back. If you have watched some of my videos before, um, I love to do this series every year and it's kind of my holiday series. I have um, two kids. I have two little girls, age five, and one that is gonna be turning seven in about a week. So I wanted to make sure, especially because her birthday falls literally just two weeks before Christmas, I, I find that this video might be helpful if you're looking for Christmas gift ideas, holiday gift ideas for the little ones in your life. Uh, a lot of these items I think can be useful for any holiday occasion. So without further ado, I am going to jump into it. Again, she is turning seven. We are just going to be hanging out at home and doing kind of a home birthday party. This year, the theme that she requested is LOL. She is really big into LOL, so she wants the decorations and the decor to be LOL. So that is what we will do. Um, and we will just kind of order from her favorite restaurant and we will have the place decorated and it'll be a fun time and this year her birthday is on a Sunday um, so that will be nice because she will have the whole day to kind of do whatever she wants and is it also going to be have to be doing e-learning and all that different stuff as well um, so that will be a lot of fun so let's get started you'll notice a theme with several of the items but let's go so the smaller items are going to be just LOL, specifically LOL boys. So I have one from series three and one from series two. She has one from series one already, so now she just has series two and three. Um, and then one from series one that she wanted, but I was not about to go through buying a bunch of series one and taking the risk of not getting it. She wanted punk boy. And so what I did is I found online someone that had punk boy, um, the figure already unboxed, um, and then all the little packages and accessories are still intact, have not been opened, so just the doll was opened, which is perfect. My girls do not care about the ball itself or all of the different layers. They really don't play with that, and they oftentimes just hand it to me, and they're like, can you help me unwrap this thing? They just want what's inside, and so this I will put in like a nice little box um, and package it better than just in this bag, but it doesn't need to be in the ball. She's not going to care. She's actually just going to be more excited that she finally got Punk Boy. So those are the three LOL figures that she is getting. So I will put those down here. Next, completely random, but she really wanted the Frozen 2 baby on a doll. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal with this is. Her sister had a Frozen themed birthday in August and got a lot of Frozen items, including baby Elsa. And ever since then, she's been like, well, I want baby Anna. I want baby Anna. I thought she'd get over it, but she's still asking about it. So I just went ahead and got it from Target and um, I got it on sale plus gift cards. So I paid like $2, I think, for it by the time the discount and my gift cards kind of were taken off. Um, so this is baby Anna. Next, maybe a live boy doll. She's really obsessed with kind of the boy version of dolls. Um, and you, you probably saw that in the Christmas video as well. She, she loves boy dolls. Um, and so this was the baby alive doll that I picked out. She wanted a baby alive. She didn't specify which one as long as it was a boy. Um, we have one baby alive doll and they fight over it literally every day. It's so bad that I have had to create a schedule where it's you get baby alive today, you get baby alive tomorrow um, because it was just turning into a mess. <laughs> so they each know their days where they get to play with baby alive so that they do not have to fight over it. Um, so this will solve that problem. They will now have she will have her own baby alive and her sister will have the other one. So I think that that will be great. She will be very, very excited about it. Next thing that she asked for was Fifi the Floss and Sloth. I thought this was so cute. She saw this on TV and she actually saw it um, in one of the toy catalogs as well and was excited because she worked so hard to learn how to do the floss. And so she's so excited that this um, this stuffed animal does it. And this is kind of like the Bobby the Booty Shake and Llama that we got last year. Um, this is the new version, Fifi the Floss and Sloth. So I think she's going to be really excited to get Fifi. Um, 
and it's super cute. I've seen the little video of it dancing. I think her and her sister are both going to enjoy it. And I picked this up at Target when they had the 25% um, off of one toy item. You know the deal. I don't pay full price for things. Assume that with everything here that none of it was full price. Um, okay. So the next item is this OMG Swag Family. Um, she really wanted swag. I don't know that she realizes the whole family came out, so um, I think she's going to be really excited to get this. We've never had one of these big um, sets before. I like this because instead of like a million accessories and like one or two dolls, it comes with four dolls and a pet. Um, and one of the dolls is the OMG doll. So I feel like the value is there more so than some of the previous bigger surprise type stuff. Um, so I'm excited about this. I got this at Target. And then this is a gift that she did not ask for, doesn't even know it exists, but she and her sister are in love with making YouTube videos themselves and pretending with their tablets. So they set up a day in the life with their baby dolls and they talk to their tablet and they walk around the house with it. Um, and so I really think she's going to love having this VTAC Kitty Zoom Creator Cam. It comes with the camera, it comes with a tripod, a green screen, um, I, and, and like you can edit the videos, put little backgrounds. I just really think she's going to love playing with this and getting creative and filming um, versus what they've been doing now, which is just using their um, Kindles to, to film day in the life with their babies. But it's really cute. I think she's going to be super excited to have a real camera. And I got this at Target and I also used the 25% off um, on this and it was on sale plus the 25% off. So I think I paid like 30 something dollars for this and I think it's like 49 or 59 dollars. And then last but not least the biggest physical biggest item that she is getting is, am I holding it the right way? The LOL um, Lamper. The four in one glamper. And if I'm talking low, it's because my kids are home. You know, the same story. So I have to talk a little quieter because they're nosy. Um, she requested this at the last minute. Um, she mentioned, you know, the same stuff that she wanted a baby alive, baby Anna, that sort of stuff. But then all of a sudden, out of nowhere came this glamper. And I was like, no. <laughs> my husband and I were like, no. That thing looks like low value. It, it doesn't look like it's going to stay together. It doesn't look like it's going to like last very long or durable and it's big <laughs> so we were like we do not want one more big toy in this house and we don't want something that also isn't the best quality and especially not for like a hundred dollars we were like we're not spending a hundred dollars on that um but divine intervention for her butt because she wasn't gonna get it but <laughs> amazon had a lightning deal for 49 dollars for this and that is when i was like that i would pay I would not pay 100 I would not pay 75 but I would pay 50 um, and so she lucked out and I snagged it when it was on a lightning deal and so she is going to be getting the glamper that she asked for and then this way again the quality is not great and I've read the reviews they are all over the place some people love it and some people like it is trash do not buy it um, so I am not advocating for this one way or the other um, at the price point I paid for it I'm willing to take the gamble um, and I know that she's going to be really, really excited about it. Um, so, and, and I, I am too, once I kind of see all the pieces, I'm, I'm excited to see kind of what it comes together, what it looks like. Um, and hopefully the quality is there. If it's not, I didn't spend a hundred dollars. Um, but this is her, her biggest gift, um, that she's really going to be excited about. And I don't think she sees it coming because we flat out told her, no, that's not going to happen. So you've already had your birthday list you're not adding anything to it you're not getting it um so i think she's going to be pleasantly surprised to see that we did go ahead and get it and again i'm really grateful that we were able to get it at a really good deal um so that is everything that she is getting for her birthday um i really think she's going to enjoy all of these things and be very excited about all of them and i really do try to make her birthday special and separate from christmas i think anyone who has kids or they themselves are a holiday 
child, it's tough. Um, and so I really do try to s separate the two and allow her to have her day um, and spoil her on her birthday. Um, even though it is two weeks away from Christmas, I really try to treat them as completely separate events. Um, and so we will be decking out the house with LOL decor and balloons and her cake will be LOL. So I think she's really going to have a fun day and really have, they're both going to have fun playing with all these toys together. Um, and I am going to do, because we're not having a family party, I am going to do, um, little favor bags. Um, and so I think that that's going to be a fun little twist on a family party. I haven't done that in the past. I always do that when we have friends and classmates, but I haven't done it when it's just us. Um, but I am going to do a little favor bag for each of them that has, um, you know, bracelets, um, some different things in there that I think that they will like. Um, and then they have an LOL. I'll insert a picture of it. It's not arrived yet, but they have an LOL that comes in a little present box. Um, and so when I t set up the tablescape, that present box LOL is going to be at each of their place settings as one of the party favors. Um, and I think they're really going to enjoy just the whole day. I'm really excited about trying to make it as special as possible, realizing we can't have uh, a party party with friends. But I, I think that this will be the next best thing. So hopefully, again, you found this helpful. And make sure that you're watching the other videos in my series. I have what I put in my kids' stockings, what I got them for Christmas. I will be doing a part two to what I got them for Christmas because I did swap some things out and I did buy some additional things. So I will be filming that soon. Um, and then as well as the Christmas Eve box and holiday hits and misses. So make sure if you are not already subscribed that you subscribe so that you don't miss the other videos in this series. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.